Sony PlayStation 3 and Amazing Facts. It was released all the way back at the end of 2006. It doesn't really matter whether you think playing games on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation is better, that's an argument that we'll never get to the bottom of. The rest of the world had to wait a few months due to delays, with gamers in Europe, New Zealand, Australia, Africa, and the Middle East only able to get their hands on a console by March 23, 2007. Today, we're talking about the PlayStation 3, PS3, and its role as one of the most influential game consoles in history. The idea was that Sony would make up the loss through games and additional hardware sales. While the Xbox 360 was also sold at a loss, the loss was only 130 US dollars per console. To start with, it was crazy expensive for a console at the time. Sure, super fans raved on and on about how much potential the PS3 had in terms of raw gaming power, but there just weren't that many games available at release. A big part of this was that the console had a Blu-ray player built into it, allowing you to watch your favorite TV shows and movies in full 1080p, providing you were happy to fork out for an expensive Blu-ray copy of them. This allowed players to use movements of the controller itself to control what was going on in some games. Not for the gaming possibilities, but due to the equipment inside the console itself. Supercomputers at the time were so incredibly expensive that it was actually cheaper and often better to network a bunch of PSEs and use them as one. At its completion, it was the 33rd most powerful supercomputer in the world, no mean feat for a bunch of PSEs. This became a significant selling point for the console when Xbox Live, a paid service, was announced. The first model, often referred to as the PS3 Fat, was the least acclaimed due to its price and lack of games at release. It was also incredibly chunky compared to the later models, hence its nickname. The following model was the PS3 Slim, released on September 1, 2009. It wasn't just slimmer, it had better storage capabilities, weighed less, used less power, and was quieter than its predecessor. The final model was the PS3 Super Slim, which was released on September 28, 2012. While sleeker and lighter, it wasn't as popular as the PS4's release was already on the horizon. Unfortunately, it was only available on the first version of the PS3 model. We are not exactly sure why, but Sony decided it wasn't worth putting the hardware into later versions of the console to allow people to play PS2 games. In fact, in 2008, Sony's CEO Kaz Hirai announced in an interview that the company's goal was to sell more than 150 million units. The PlayStation 3 was a complete game changer, not just for Sony but for console gaming overall. Despite its initial setbacks, it was at the forefront of gaming technology and paved the way for all future consoles, Sony or otherwise. If you're a PC or Xbox fanboy, you should be able to agree on one thing in this article, and that's the fact that the PS3 showed the world what a real gaming console could do. Game Consoles <laughs>